I woke up in the morning and I, and I did feel a bit like uh, fed up and stressed and tired. And then I, uh, I had a few phone calls saying that maybe I should leave because now they are going to get really angry and they're gonna, they don't want to lose face and I should be back next week and, and they should, it should be fine, they, they'll, they'll allow me in. But then I, f I made a, a few of the phone calls to the other guys of the team and to the other uh, civil society groups and they said, you can't really do that because, you know, that's, that, that would be opposite of what you've been saying. And in a way, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rest, uh, you know, if I was in Thailand or I was in Spain, I wouldn't sleep easily. I, I would not find it comfortable to be aware. So I've made a decision that I'm not going to go anywhere unless they come and physically catch me and take me to the border or to the airport. So I'm going to stretch it for as, as much as I can. I know that by law I've got 37 days. And then obviously there's also other solutions, which hopefully will happen in the next few days or few weeks, which is a renewal of the, of the visa. I, I don't know, I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't think that's relevant. I think the relevant thing is that I've got to stick to my uh, conscience and my, and my, and my uh, decision, which is not to leave. And I, I mean, they, they, there is a letter saying, by the Minister of Interior saying if he does leave for a very short period of time then there's no reason why we shouldn't let him in as long as he fills all the necessary uh, requirements. To me that is just an excuse. I mean my, my passport was with them. I asked for a visa after 12 years. I've, I've been renewing my visa for 12 years and never has been denied. So I find it extremely suspicious that they, they say no you have to go for a week or so and then you have to come back in. I think that's just an excuse. They, they wouldn't let me back in. Why would they? You know. I don't know actually. I, I, when we started the campaign I never thought this was going to be so big. I think the, 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 the videos on Facebook have been a massive thing. There's, a lot, there's like literally millions of Cambodians following this. And obviously we are not only involved in the Orang Valley campaign, we are also involved in sand dredging, we are also involved in the Putum Sako with this crimes against humanity being committed, forced deportation. And, and they are not saying that but the, the authorities in Kokong are really afraid of, of Mother Nature movement because we are expanding in Kokong. And they know that they're going to have an extremely difficult time in doing their dirty little business if they don't, well that's what they think anyway, if they, if they don't get rid of Alex. What they don't realize is that Alex is just one of the many people who are involved and Alex's uh, presence is, is in a way irrelevant. You know, it's, it's, um, they would have to get rid of the whole team and that would be impossible. I think if you look at what's happening all over the world, I think that's just complete nonsense. I mean, if Cambodia is a democracy, like they claim that it is, then that is, that is just not right. And in, 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 in my own heart, I mean, I've been here long enough and I consider myself a Cambodian. So whatever they say, oh, you're a foreigner, go back to Spain, defend the forest there. I'm like, you're talking nonsense. I'm a Cambodian and I'm defending my forest. So, you know, I think that just doesn't make any sense. They're not only well trained, they're actually be much better activists than me. I decided not to go to the Orang Valley anymore in July of last year and there was two reasons. One of them because I was really bad at advocacy with the communities. The youth activists part of Mother Nature were much better. And the, the other reason was that if I was eventually deported, like it might happen in the next few weeks, then it wouldn't be an issue because everything has been delegated and everything is, is, is you know smooth as it is without me. In many ways I'm an obstacle to the campaign. I mean I'm I get easily angry, I'm stressed out all the time because of all this pressure. So if I'm not there, they'll be like jumping around in, in, in happiness. Finally, Alex is not here, we can explode and, and, and become extremely good activists ourselves. So the only thing I did was I raised the alarm before anybody else. And now the alarm has been raised, the movement is unstoppable. There's just and not only Mother Nature, there's many other groups involved. So. I think there's a very good, uh, you know, very good army argument, and I've thought about this before many times. So, but now I mean the fact that I can leave. I could leave. I could have left two years ago, and I didn't leave. I think that in a way proves that I'm doing as much as I can. I'm facing the possibility of of, of, of death or of arrest. And if, uh, you know, if, if if I leave the country, and then the the wrath of the state, whatever that means, is 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 thrown upon them then in a way that's something that I've spoken with them before and they are more than happy to face the consequences, you know. I'm, I'm, 
They would be going ahead with the campaign regardless. I'm not pushing them to do anything. It's the complete opposite. We're pushing people away from us and we're keeping the group as small as possible so that, you know, this is not a valid argument at all. I think there's too much celebrity value in that and sometimes it's embarrassing, you know, seeing your own face on Facebook constantly. It should be about, I am a Ryan, I am the last forest, it's, I am a Cambodian and I want to protect that forest. It shouldn't really be about Alex. But if it's about Alex and at the same time they're linking a Ryan anti-hydro campaign with Alex, then let's, you know, for the time being, let's do it. But it will evolve, you know, I'll make sure that it evolves and it becomes into, you know, Cambodians, uh, people who want to save nature. Uh, in general, it, you know, hopefully it will move away from this individual thing. But if for the time being it is, you know, so be it. That's not, it's not too much of a problem.